Yesterday, I was trying to post something, and then I just went on my, I went to Google. People say, how do I keep memories? Well, thanks to my husband. I, I had no idea what Google anything is. But it just ensured that my phone is Google enabled. Amen. And, and I just ensured. I'm like, only is not backing up. He said, again, give it to me. And I was looking for something, and I just saw videos of me and my husband, and I was, la I was laughing. It was, in the, it was in the living room, I was talking to someone on the phone. I went to go and distract him, but he wasn't having it. So I went back in, but still thanking God. <laughs> and when it was done, it was counseling, not like it was busy on the phone. Please. So immediately, and let's talk about vision. Yes, I knew it was not on the phone, just gisting. And because of the particular situation, I knew. And I came back and I saw that when he saw me, he started quickly try to say, you know, God bless you. So if you had the one, I'm sorry, I was the one. Because he knows that I won't come in again. At that point, I just really wanted to express myself to him and tell him how grateful I am for the gift of him. And I want to speak to the daughters. You can't use sentiment to choose forever. Your sentiments will wear off. But you see, what you live with forever, you don't want to be sentimental with it. And I remember the dream I had a while ago. And in this dream, that's before I started dating Bishop. I was, I was single. They just, I found out they, bro they broke up with me, so I had to catch up, you know, and all of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even after they broke up with me, they were still coming to my house and stuff like that. So, I mean, I found out in my house that they broke up with me with the person in the house sleeping. You know, and I was saying that, oh, we're over. You know, it was just really deep. But one of the things that didn't allow me to crash so badly was vision. Right? And I had a dream and I saw, in the, not to bore you with the details of this dream, the summary was, I felt the Lord say to me, if anybody treats you less than this, then no, they're not for me. Now, you might be waiting for that. Why wait for that kind of dream? What if you don't have it? There's scripture. So that dream would not have even made sense if there was no backing of scripture. Because I would just have thought it was a lie. Then I went to scripture. And I found this that I'm going to read to us. Because I want us to pay attention to what God is saying to us. Again, I'm speaking to the daughters. Now, men who can take it. Because I feel for a lot of us, like Claire said, our emotions. A guy can be so good, but not good for you. So I want you to, I want you to not leave a guy. Don't say, don't leave a guy thinking is the problem. I mean, do your best. Some people will still believe that the problem is okay. But do your best to ensure you leave the person knowing that you're great. But for where we are going, so I don't become a frustration to you. I have to go. And I saw this in scripture, Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. You know, we quote this scripture a lot. Do not be drunk with wine, which is rebellion. Instead, be filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And he goes on. Your, your heart to make melodies. Then he says, for wives. Verse 22. It was, it's not, there was no break. It's coming from the Holy Spirit and for wives. Meaning the fullness of the Holy Spirit for wives looks like this. Did somebody catch that? It's not Holy Spirit just for goosebumps. The Holy Spirit fullness in you. For wives, this means being devoted to your husband. Um, now, to the husband, you are to demonstrate love for your wife with the same tender devotion that Christ demonstrated to you, his bride. For he died for you, sacrificing himself to make us holy and pure, cleansing us through the showering of the pure waters of the word of God. All that he does in us is to design to make us mature, to make us a mature church for his pleasure, and to become a source of praise to him, glorious, radiant, beautiful, holy, without fault or, or fail. Husbands have the obligation to love, love, of loving and caring for their wives the same way they love and care for their own bodies. For to love your wife is to love your own self. No one abuses his own body but pampers it, serving and satisfying its need. That's exactly what Christ does for the church. He serves and satisfies us as members of the body. But how can you know how that translation love your wife as Christ loved the church? How can you know how a man should love you if not been taught how Christ loves you? So I want to appeal to you. All right, we'll continue in feed. This is, like I said, I was watching those things. I was just thinking about my life. Where will I be today? No matter how gifted I am, if this man has restrained me, 
I mean, I do a lot of things. So not everybody has the capacity to make room for that. I don't have to explain that I'm chosen. He gets the memo that I'm chosen. So we have minimized a point of argument. That is why Genesis chapter 1 did not open up with a man looking for a wife. He opened up with a man, God creating, they created a man. He got vision. In the process of doing vision, hope you know, they brought animals to name. So if you had called monkey wife, so be it. But because he was made from the image of God and he had a relationship with God, he understood. He might not have known what to call it, but he knew what it should be like. So he couldn't settle for anything else. I wrote a few things here. I said for you, number one, Dear daughters, dear women, singles, don't mistake the fruits for the gifts. The Bible does not say by their gifts of the Spirit you shall know them. It says by their fruits of the Spirit you shall know them. Don't make excuses for certain things that are core values. You see, the reason why you have problem in marriage, a lot of times, the major issues you will have around marriage will be core value issues. Sorry, the major reason that the major thing that causes the breakdown in marriage most times is core value issue. Look at what Claire and Aka said. God is a core value issue until they came into alignment of what it is. So again, I've, I've, with what I've been doing this year makes it 17 years, I guess, of doing ministry and maybe actively counseling. Because when I was a child, Bishop, I used to go to married people's home. When apparently, I didn't even know they were trying to tap my gifts. We are tell, tell daddy that this is what the Lord. Of course, I need to do that, but. I've seen people, there's nothing as worse as regretting the choice you made. Like, well, like our spiritual father will say, once you marry, it becomes the will of God. There's no God, is it your will? It's not will. As long as person is not beating you, ah, it's will. Oh. So don't mistake. A great guy, he might be on his journey. He might be on his journey of becoming with God. So don't judge, don't look down on anybody. I don't believe in disrespecting anybody. But you have to guard your destiny and not be sentimental about it. I love what Claire said. She had potential. But I think what she really meant was pattern. The potential at the backing of pattern. Don't just marry potential. Look out for pattern. How does it treat the driver? How does it, what am I saying is that his parents, his things. Like look out for pattern repeatedly. Somebody that is doing something repeatedly. If it has great potential, what's the plan to what's the potential? I love what she said. Where's your vision? You see, I'm, I'm going somewhere. I'm in real estate. I'm a tech guy. It's okay to be tech. What is the vision? Where are we going? And the core of the vision, is it or more, I cannot blow. I will never be poor. What she saw at the core was God. So she knew that no matter what, if it's from God, then this will come to pass. Why? Hmm. And I said, learn and develop yourself. I love what Claire said. What she said, she's good out to respect. Don't wait till you marry to learn it. Go and start to learn. To the married women, please be graceful. Be the change you want to see. What I've noticed about every time you report your spouse to God, God starts with you. Make God your number one. Love don't choke. A lot of us want, I want him to myself, want to, and you are taking the breath. There's no, there's, no, there's no breath in his lungs anymore. What do I mean? A lot of times what you are fighting the man for, the fulfillment you are, only God can give it. And by all means, please pray together. Hmm. Bishop and I, you know, pray together, we we'll pray together. But you see, pray on our own. I love my prayer. I ain't pray like that. Me and God, number one, the way we want to sing is different. Me, I want to just sing this one. This is, no, it's different than you want to go. Then it's tired of my own. Me, I can go from Isa, let it me, I'll go to you song. My own, you know, I mean, I can enter anywhere. And brother is like, yo, which one? Which one is, is it warrior? Is it RMB? Which one are we doing? So, and I really like it. And sometimes when I'm praying, I write. Most one is not writing. Me, I'm writing. As, you know, if he's writing, studying, and when he pray, that's me. I'm praying. My book and pen, we're praying, God. So we started taking it for granted. We do it. We, are, we just pray. We do it. <laughs> when the devil came for us, 
And the only thing God had to say, you, you took it for granted. So then I realized, because in my personal prayer time, ah, shabrado, God will float like a baku. But my husband too, yeah, if I hear you, there's a way I used to hear speech. Oh, Jesus. There's a way his voice begins to do woo, woo. I know they don't come. The host of heaven. His voice do woo, woo. Or I just pass, I see his eyes red. Or it's just creating spontaneous song. I don't enter. But guess what? He didn't say one would put 10,000 to flight. It is two. So if you are struggling, if you are facing anything in your marriage, please pray together. They didn't have to tell us. Why? By the time we started fighting certain battles, hell, ah, ah, what was going on? What was going on? The Lord kept saying to us, where's your... What? Oh, so we're doing it though. We'll pray something. Ah, ah. God said, stop that one. I want to even do... You know some of you want it to perfect. Together, I want to do two hours. I say, agree first. So we started to make it this habit to pray together. By all means, pray together. I want to pray for the women and the bishop will come up and say a word and pray for the men. How many of you have been blessed today? For the women, for the single women. You see, when you get married, the principle of submission, whether you like it or not, the way it's written, no, it almost looks like it supersedes your purpose because God expects that when you are making the choice, make a choice of the man that would enable you. My giftings heightened when I got married to my husband. And I'm begging you. And for those of you that maybe are the one that you are the, pray, you are the prayer of your house, you are the one that I see stars. And because your husband is very, he plays FIFA, he do gentle, you think that he's, he's demon. And your self-righteousness will cover your eyes. And you look at, look at him. You cannot even pray for one hour. Your mates. You will say it indirectly. Repent. Because have you not noticed that same man will just go to God, Father, Lord, I bless you, I worship you. And God will answer. I have to learn it. God will just go, Father, Lord, G. I say, ah, ah. Ah, ah. I will buy that one before the altar. How many? I just go, Lord Jesus, oh God. Because your own service unto God is with self-righteousness. You are the one that only pass. But we repent. Anybody heard me? Daughters, I beg you in the name of God. I beg you. I was looking at my life yesterday. Today I say, ah. My husband said, what's happened? <laughs> because sometimes I, say, I just say, ah. Hey, you just deliver me. You saved me. Ah. All the time I need to be doing IRA. The prayer call, bring him, oh God. Deliver him. Any woman, any stage woman that's on top. Oh yeah, four. Wherever you are. Oh God. How do you want to have time to do purpose? We've eliminated, and because what Aka said, yield yourself to the Holy Ghost. So you, I love their story. They will tell you you didn't need to go through what they went through in the beginning year. Because they were able to make it through. Some people will become casualties. Learn now. I thank God. I honor you, Midi. Thank you so much for being a blessing for allowing. <laughs> For supporting all of you that think it's money you can use to solve one problem. The day our emotion come into play, is it money you want to pay? You pay therapists, you're not born with therapists. I mean, it's okay to pay therapists, but I'm saying is that it gets to a time. I thank God for every time I have needed quality advice. You've I've not had to go and be going up and down mountain because the mountain I need is right in front of me. Thank you so much. Thank you.